just in practice, like why? Like why do you need that much toilet paper, you know? Like there's not even a reason y'all should be buying this much toilet paper. <laughs> All right, guys, it is Monday, March 16th, and it sure does feel like an episode of I Am Legend, I tell you what. Across the country, we're seeing closures of pretty much everything between bars, restaurants, uh, small businesses are closing. Walmarts are having to shut down certain store hours just to be able to stock their shelves. Uh, I mean, borders across the entire world are being closed. Curfews are being put in order, like in New Jersey. Sporting events across the country and Canada and pretty much across the entire world have been canceled, limiting groups of people to like 10 people in some European countries. In America, it's uh, down to 50 people. So any group or gathering above that is apparently uncalled for or something. I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, lots of social distancing happening. Kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Uh, my 27 years, I've definitely never seen anything like this. Like, shutting the entire country down, pretty much shutting the entire world down. This virus has done a very effective job at it. Uh, people are freaking out, panicking. Uh, like, I don't know. It's just gonna get weirder and weirder, I think, before it gets a little bit better. International travel has been halted between countries. I don't even know what's going on. Like I said, in the 27 years I've been alive, nothing like this has ever happened. I've never seen this before, so. Stock market is crashing, crypto's crashing. A lot of stuff is just happening here in the last weeks or so. It really is actually changing life as we know it before our, our own eyes. Like, we're getting to see the change happen with our own eyes. It's like we're, this is the start of the Great Depression 2.0 or something. Uh, hopefully that's not the case, but uh, it sure does feel pretty interesting. And in the midst of it all of it, we're just being told to live our regular lives. Hell, go give her a go, but just stay inside and distance yourself from literally everyone, except your family members. Uh, just kind of weird, you know? We're closing ski resorts here in Montana. They're getting shut down across the country, closing outdoor sporting events. I mean, it's like nobody knows really what this virus is capable of, and that's probably the scariest thing. Uh, and the death toll and infected toll numbers just seem to keep like doubling and quadrupling every day. So it really is pretty interesting to see it develop, that's for sure. Uh, in the meantime, I just wanna go get a gallon of milk, you know? So today's video is gonna be a little different than your average fishing video, I guess. It's just gonna be a vlog style video. We're gonna go to the supermarket, try to get a gallon of milk because I need a strawberry shake. That's my goal for the day. We are actually in the middle of uh, editing and posting the Montana Ice Tour. There's five brand new episodes coming, boys and girls. They're gonna come probably in a little bit of a cluster. March 25th is the start date for number five, I think, or four. Number four, number four, yeah, number four. That's it. March 25th for number four. As what's when it, that's the starting date. Um, we're working on those right now. But yeah, I felt this video was probably necessary. Or it's kind of nice to see a different perspective and just see how Billings is handling this whole food crisis. So, uh, or toilet paper crisis in 2019, 2020 actually. Uh, yeah, 2020 is really starting off to be a shitty year. Let me tell you what. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let's go get some milk, huh? What do you say? What do you say we get some milk, huh? We just gotta go to the supermarket real quick, real quick like a bunny. To Walmart, see if we can't find some milk or something. I gotta have a strawberry shake. I gotta get that going, I'm hungry. Uh, we got a little bit of food here, but no paper towels, no. We got one roll of toilet paper, one roll left. So we're on our last leg. We gotta go see if we can't find some. Wish me luck. Traffic sure seems to be normal. Wait, no it doesn't. Monday at four o'clock, there's like a handful of people. No, dude, people are moving about. We're going about the day just as they should, but come on, dude. I'm gonna let her rip, dude. But yeah, guys, it's pretty crazy, you know? Uh, they're shutting everything down, it seems like. And it's funny what people are hoarding, you know? It's like, obviously, they've never needed to, like, be resourceful, really, at all. Because, like, um, toilet paper is possibly the most least resourceful item anyone could ever have, you know? Like, having a roll is nice, but, like, <laughs> having cases? I, it's just impressive. Like, why? Like, why do you need that much toilet paper, you know? Like, there's not even a reason y'all should be buying this much toilet paper. And it is. It is a problem. It's a huge problem because y'all motherfuckers are scaring the elderly. I think it's kind of funny how everyone's like, we need to help each other, we need to lean on each other. Okay, yeah, well, it's also, I mean, this pandemic, it is a big deal, but it's like, just 
watch out for yourself, you know? Like, just, just keep yourself clean, and you should be okay, you know? Like, that's the basis of it. And I think what we're seeing is all these dirty people coming out of the woodworks and giving her a go, you know? Giving her a hauler, you know, just cleaning out all this stuff. And I also do kind of agree with a lot of people. I think a lot of people just showed up at Walmart and in these other giant box stores at the same damn time and just cleaned them out. And granted, this is the first quarter of like the business year. So it does make sense that the inventory of these box stores isn't very high. Like to be to be frank and honest, they shouldn't have like the inventory on stock to, to handle everything that's been bought because it's just not smart business. I mean, any business business owner would probably agree with me on that. Like, it's just not smart to have an overstocked Walmart, a bunch of items that aren't gonna get sold because especially if the economy isn't gonna be buying a bunch of stuff, you know? There's an almost wreck. Ha, <laughs> stupid idiot, man, I tell ya, dude. So the parking lot at Walmart, guys, isn't that bad. Like, it's not like we're yeah, it's a, it's kind of full for a Monday, you know, but like it's not like it's like oh my goodness, run to the store and buy all of it type Monday, you know. Unless the stock market goes down another 500 points, then we're fucked. Um, this dude is lost, dude. He's like, "Where's my car, dude? Where is the car, dude?" There's a brand new Ford hopping the curb. I tell you, dude, Walmart is the place to go. Dude. Buddy's walking like four aisles over. He's like, well, I didn't know where I parked, dude. Where's my car, Ashton Kutcher? Okay, guys, we're going to put you on the cell phone. We're going to walk in there. Like I said, I just need to probably leave them on. You know what I'm saying? It's bright out here. Your boy just needs some milk, some leche. But we're going to go see what these shelves are like, okay? We'll see, on, we'll see you in there. So yeah, that's some pretty crazy stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I ended up getting a uh, two corn dogs and a gallon of milk. Just what I needed. It really is absolute pandemonium. Like I just never thought I would see the shelves of Walmart being that empty. Like it looks like Venezuela, you know? And people are still walking out with like carts full of shit, you know? As a Walmart CEO, they have to be loving this, you know? Like, oh yeah, we have three stores in Billings, and all three stores are completely sold out of everything on their shelves. There's no more inventory in the store. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. It's freaking madness. That's right, I got two corn dogs. Holy shit. It actually just pops right out, yeah? Two corn dogs. If you guys want another COVID-19 update here in Billings, uh, like, comment below. Let me know what your guys' comments are, too, down below of what you guys think of this whole ordeal, you know. Is your local supermarket just flooded with people? Is your toilet paper gone, too? Well, comment below. No, let the rest of us know. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. We'll see you in the next one.